Hi, my name is Lucy, it's Info Salad, and let's roll! Scientists discover Earth's oldest green plant fossil in China. The fossils were found in rocks from northern China. The plant is thought to be a piece of sea wood that grew on Earth's seafloor around 1 billion years ago. That would make this seawood an ancestor of all green plants alive today. The U.S. researchers with the Virginia Polytechnic Institute and State University in Blacksburg, Virginia, reported on the discovery in the publication Nature Ecology and Evolution. The seaweed is a form of green algae called Proterocladus antiquus, and it was very small, about the size of a single piece of rice, and was connected to the sea floor with a root-like structure. At the time, the plant was one of the largest forms in the sea, which contained mainly bacteria and microorganisms. The researchers say Proterocladus was also able to perform photosynthesis, taking energy from sun to produce life-supporting carbon and oxygen. They believe the plant also provided food and shelter for many different kinds of sea life. The Virginia Tech researchers believe that plant plants like grasses, crops, trees and others are all developed from green seaweeds that lived in the ocean. Over a thousand years, the seaweed plants moved out of the ocean and adapted to life on land. Proterocladus is believed closely related to a modern seaweed, which is widely eaten by humans and actually is called sea lettuce. NASA's Mars 2K20 rover gets new official name – Perseverance. The robotic explorer is to join Curiosity on the Red Planet next year and is expected to get more rolling companions built by China, Russia and Europe. That was the winning moniker selected by NASA's Name the Rover essay contest, which began last summer. Volunteer judges sifted through 28,000 entries from children, ranging from kindergartens to high schoolers, and selected 155 semifinalists. In January, NASA announced the final nine. The other eight were Clarity, Courage, Endurance, Fortitude, Ingenuity, Promise, Tenacity, and Vision. Alexander Masser, a seventh grader from Springfield, Virginia, submitted the winning essay that proposed the name Perseverance. Curiosity, insight, spirit, opportunity, he wrote. If you think about it, all of these names of past Mars rovers are qualities we possess as humans. We are always curious and seek opportunity. We have the spirit and insight to explore the Mars, Moon and beyond. But if rovers are to be the qualities of us as a race, we miss the most important thing – perseverance. Just because your favorite band's live show is sold out in minutes, it doesn't mean that you have to be missing out. In the last few years, musicians have been able to stream their concerts in the virtual reality headsets, allowing fans to enjoy the virtual spectacle from the comfort of their homes. Now some VR platforms are going beyond just recreating the live experience by offering viewpoints and interactions that users could never get if they were at the venue. Launched in 2K18, Melody VR has built a library of live shows recorded for streaming to Oculus VR headsets or iPhone and Android devices through its app at a later date. It says it has worked with more than 850 musicians, including Kelly Clarkson, Wiz Khalifa and Louis Capaldi. As well as being able to watch from a position in the audience, users can view the concerts as if they were in backstage, behind the sound booth, or even on the stage with a band. If someone can go to the show, they always will, he said. But for all of the limiting factors as to why people can go to live shows, be it geographical restrictions, age restrictions or cost, we realized there might be an opportunity to smash all those barriers and truly globalize music. PlayStation 2 Anniversary – why it's an important piece of gaming history. It stands tall as the best-selling console ever. And this week the PlayStation 2 celebrates its 20th anniversary. 
According to the Guinness World Records, 157.68 million people have owned a PlayStation 2 in their lifetime. That's ahead of the 154.90 million who played on a Nintendo DS and the 118.69 million Game Boy owners. The DVD player in the console made it accessible to people at the time who could get two things for a cheaper price. The console attracted people who might not have played video games and put controllers in the hands of a new wave of gamers. PS2 was responsible for bringing people together and it made her feel like she was a part of the community. The most popular PS2 games are GTA, San Andreas and Vice City, selling more than 36 million copies between them. It gave you an easy topic of conversation. If you were into it, there was always flowing conversation. There was a togetherness whenever there was a two-player game and also if you were just a spectator. So, that was it for today. Thank you for your attention. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and choose our videos in.